What's going on guys? Back again with the Equus. It's a 2013. Uh, so, today I'm going to be recording how to fix this button right here. So, turn the car on. You get this warning screen. You have to press this button. And it doesn't unlock the screen. So, I'm going to show you how to replace this button because that is the problem. Um, I believe it was like $60, $65. I'll put the link in the description for how to do that. Uh, I mean, for where to buy that. But anyways, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get something behind this cover. This black piece is a cover. Um, it looks like someone already tried to do this because there's some marks here. But um, you're going to get something behind this. You're going to pry this piece off. And I had already done this, but I guess it be stuck itself. So let me pause this video and take it off and then I'll show you. But basically you're just going to get something between here and pry off this black piece. It's just glued on. Alright, so once you're able to take this black piece off, there's just a little bit of glue around the edges that holds it on. You're going to see this, right? We need to take this completely off. In some videos they're going to say just pull straight up on it. That is definitely not what you do. Um, so behind this black piece of tape, off okay so behind this black piece of tape there's gonna be a little slot right here I know it's kind of bad lighting if you can see it inside that slot is this retaining pin so this will be in that slot like this but all the way in so you're gonna need to get like a needle nose or a Phillips head something screwdriver you're gonna kind of pry in there and pull this piece out okay so once that piece comes out just put it right there this you'll be able to pull straight up on it and it'll come off so a little bit of force but it comes off all right so just put that down to the side do not lose this piece and don't scratch this piece. So now that you've got that, this is now exposed. It'll allow this panel to slide straight off. So you're gonna push this out of the way. And right here, you're gonna kinda try to get a grip underneath this part of the uh, silver panel. And you're gonna lift up like that. The whole piece just pops right out. Once you do that, you can notice underneath all your connectors you're gonna need to disconnect those I believe there's four there's one right there uh, there's a small one here and there's one right here that's three um, maybe there's only three so disconnect all three of those connectors all right we got all that off there actually there was four one two there's a little black one on the bottom I didn't see this is the one that's actually going to your button three and four all right, and we're left with our center console piece, panel, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to get that button out of there and replace it with the new one. This is what the button looks like. All right, so I'm gonna take this inside and we're gonna take it apart. All right, so now that we've got this out of the car, uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is take off this piece right here. This is the plastic cover where your shifter goes. So you're gonna take out Phillips head. One, two, three, and four. All right, take four of those out. All right, once you take those four out, there's this little connector here with a plastic piece pressed in. Just, you know, squeeze that, pull it out, and this piece will come right off. So just lay that to the side. That's the LEDs. Now you're left with this, which we're gonna remove all of these hex heads, the little small silver ones. I think they're metric, I don't know the size, but I'm using a T8 Torx bit. Well, the camera's not really gonna look at that. Anyways, it's the T8 Torx bit, it's the star pattern bit, um, and that fits perfectly fine in here, so you can use that. All right, so once you have all of those loose, I believe there's six of them, you try to lift it up, it won't come off. 
This bracket's in the way right here. You gotta loosen the screw and take this bracket off. Just remember the position it goes on. All right, so now we got this loosened out of the way. All these are loose. This will come straight off. I'm just gonna leave them in the cover so they don't get lost. This gives us access to this end of the circuit board. You need to disconnect this red connector. Um, just pull it straight up, just like that. And then this board will come off and just kind of feed that through. Now this board, put to the side. This rubber piece right here, we can take this off as well. Just lift it up, feed it through. Just like that, put that to the side as well. Now we gain access to our button. So, if you flip this over, this joystick right here just pulls straight off. Just pull up on it. This is a nut. We need to loosen that nut and that's gonna drop our button. All right, that nut is a 15 sixteenths. I'm sure you could just use an adjustable, but I have the tools here, so I may as well use them. And I'm gonna need two hands for this. It shouldn't be that tight, but uh, yeah, just be careful you don't strip it. All right, so we got that loose. Take that off. When you flip it over, it's gonna fall straight out. And there's one of the pieces that's broken on the button. This thing's falling apart. It doesn't make barely any clicking sounds. You can't really hear anything. So this button was needing to be replaced. And I have my replacement right here. And you can hear the difference. So we're gonna just reinstall this the same way uh, we took it out. Before I install this, I just wanna show you, these buttons are not identical. They are not identical. One is a little bit smaller, but they do the same thing. So it doesn't make a difference. The length doesn't matter. Um, it'll still work. It's just finding this exact button, part number and everything, is usually like 15 weeks back ordered. Um, so this will work, this will do. All right, so reinstall the nut, tighten it down. Reinstall the rubber piece. Reinstall the circuit board. Plug the circuit board back in. Replace the cover. I guess it would help if I put it the right way. Retighten your six uh, Torx head screws and this bracket. All right, before you install this, this is a really good time. Take advantage that you have access and you can clean this. I believe it'll come out on one end or the other. There you go. You can clean this, get all the dust out and dirt. I know it kind of collects debris after a while, so take the opportunity to clean this now while you have it apart. All right, so now we've reinstalled this. You guys, when you're tightening it down, once it's tight, it's tight. Don't, don't over tighten it. Everything's going into plastic. Uh, it will strip very easily. And make sure you put this back on the bracket where it belongs and make sure you didn't forget anything. So now all we have left to do is to put this button back on. So it just presses right back on. I hear everything clicking as it should. It's a lot more flexible now. This one was very, very stiff. All right, so we're back on the car. Uh, we're gonna reinstall this. So basically you're just going to line up the hole in the shift cover with the shifter like that all right lay it down in position reconnect your four connectors all right i'm going to pause the video to do that but make sure you have your four connectors plugged in all right so everything's plugged in I'm going to realign this make sure this is not sticking out we need to make sure this is all the way in um, so we need to 
slide this back. Uh, it needs to kind of, it's hard to show you, but it goes down underneath. It goes underneath this whole piece. So just kind of bend it, force it down. Um, and there's kind of a ramp in there that it'll go onto. And then basically you're just gonna press it back in. That's it. So now it's all snapped in and looking good. Make sure this still closes, everything lines up. All right, so now we're gonna reinstall our shift knob. So put this on, press it down. Make sure it goes down solid. That retaining clip that I told you guys not to lose in the beginning. And we're gonna put that one back in place. Remember it goes in that slot. And we're gonna press that all the way in. It'll snap in place. And then our cover, if you wanna just put some, uh, maybe two or three dots of glue on it, um, and then just put it in place. I'm not going to put glue, I'm just going to press it in and see how long it stays there until it falls out. But basically, that's your fix. Alright, so here's the moment we've been waiting for. There it goes. Fixed. You guys, that's your fix. Um, I honestly have not even used this screen one time uh, because it's been locked. This is my first time, so I'll be navigating it now. But... Everything works, and I have no idea what I'm doing. But as you can see, the knob is working. It feels very sensitive. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to go to the menu because... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, as you can see, all the clicking, all the directions is working perfectly. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. Um, so there it is, that's how you fix that center console, button, joystick, uh, whatever you wanna call it, honestly. Um, please comment what else you would like to see me fix. I will fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. I'll take it apart and show you how to put it back together. All right, thanks for watching.